yes. the, uh, something comparable, I would imagine, to uh, Meharry's uh, Hubbard Hospital. Yes. But I, I also understand that you're not having any problems in terms of trying to keep that uh, facility filled. Well, right? that hospital is not our hospital. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we use the hospital, mm -hmm. but it is a county hospital. Mm -hmm. But because of the problems in health care, mm -hmm. and because other hospitals Mm -hmm. uh, refusing more and more to see poor patients, mm -hmm. medical patients, mm -hmm. we call it, mm -hmm. in California. Mm -hmm. We have a problem of always having more than 100% occupancy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't mean that people are on the floor, but mm -hmm. what I mean is that there are always more people in the hospital mm -hmm. than was originally intended mm -hmm. to be in the hospital. Mm -hmm. And uh, that is because of the crisis that we have in health care. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh, just recently, uh, UCLA decided that they would reduce the number of Medi-Cal patients because mm -hmm. it was a financial burden mm -hmm. on them. Mm -hmm. USC decided they would build a separate hospital mm -hmm. and would exclude Medi-Cal patients. Mm -hmm. They exclude people who come to emergency room. They have no emergency room mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because if you have no emergency room, you can't receive emergency patients. Mm -hmm. And therefore, a poor patient who might come and not be able to pay mm -hmm. doesn't get into that hospital. Mm -hmm. As a result, we have a, a large uh, influx of patients, mm -hmm. poor patients, mm -hmm. who have nowhere else to go. Very good. As a matter of fact, I think one of your former students, uh, mm -hmm. Dr. Henry Foster uh, at Meharry here, mm -hmm. has indicated that approximately 175,000 uh, people in Tennessee <coughs> either don't have any medical insurance or don't have access to uh, health care. And let's use that as a springboard to talk about some of what you might consider to be the crises mm -hmm. in health care, and especially the impact that it might have upon uh, the minority population. Here, I think in Tennessee, we're dealing primarily with a black population, yes. but I think in uh, you, uh, your part of the country, not only are you dealing with the black population, you're also right. dealing with Hispanics and other yes. minority groups. Yes. So let's talk about that. Let's spend a few minutes to uh, give yeah. us as much information. I'll as make a, a correction about Dr. Foster. He was never a student mm -hmm. of mine, but he's a very close mm -hmm. friend. And I have a very high regard for him and the outstanding work which he has done. Uh, there, we face a major problem in healthcare in this country. And it's not only black, it's not only uh, any particular ethnic group, it's a national problem. It's becoming a national scandal. Uh, more and more people are finding it extremely difficult to get health care. Uh, private insurers are mm -hmm. tending to skim the cream and to ignore the people who have medical problems. They cannot get insured. Mm -hmm. There are, as a result, millions of people in this country who are without insurance. And the cost of medical care is increasing mm -hmm. to such a great extent that middle-income people find it mm -hmm. difficult to uh, pay for medical care. And if you happen to lose your job, and your insurance is uh, connected with your job, you have a problem. Compared with other Western uh, nations, mm -hmm. the situation in the United States is, is pretty bad. Mm -hmm. You just have to cross the border into Canada and see the difference in access to health care. Mm -hmm. Now, the problems that uh, are the problems of poor people, mm -hmm. whether they are black or whether they are white, are related to really two major problems. Mm -hmm. One is access to care, mm -hmm. and two is exposure to greater hazards because mm -hmm. of their poverty. Mm -hmm. If you are exposed to greater hazards, either because of the work that you do mm -hmm. as a migrant laborer and greater exposure to pesticides, or if you have less access to care, mm -hmm. that com those combination of factors mm -hmm results in a greater mortality mm -hmm. for poor people. Mm -hmm. And African Americans have a higher percentage mm -hmm. of poor people than the general mm -hmm. population. Mm -hmm. One of the things I am so proud about, as far as Mahali is concerned, mm -hmm. is its Institute for the Health Care of the Poor. Mm -hmm. That institute uh, communicates a message that the concern of this institution mm -hmm. is with the health of the poor. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think it is um, something that uh, is very important in a climate where health care is a major problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very good. Uh, Dr. Bob, let's talk about uh, uh, cancer and uh, the impact that uh, that disease has had upon uh, African Americans. 
as well as uh, some of the uh, work that you're doing in mm -hmm. terms of cancer. I think you mentioned that uh, after your presidency, you were the, uh, the director, director of cancer. Very good. Yes. Let's talk about that and, and, and give us as much information as you care to give right. uh, dealing with that disease and where we are in terms of trying to uh, really control it mm -hmm. now. Well, um, my interest in cancer is in the, from the perspective of prevention. And let me first of all say that 50 years ago, cancer was lower in African Americans than, it, than in the white population. And for that reason, there are a lot of people today who still think mm -hmm. that blacks have less cancer mm -hmm. than whites, because it was true, it, it was once true. Mm -hmm. But as time has gone along, in recent years, the rate of cancer among blacks has increased, mm -hmm. so that it now exceeds mm -hmm. that of the white population. Mm -hmm. And one of the factors that's most responsible for that is lung cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Lung cancer has increased significantly in the black population. Now, in our consortium, our consortium mm -hmm. involves Drew, Mahari, and Morehouse, mm -hmm. which means that we operate from Los Angeles, from Nashville, and in Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And so we look at the cancer statistics mm -hmm. in all three cities. And you would expect, most people would expect that Los Angeles would have mm -hmm. a higher rate of lung cancer because of all the smog and pollution that we have in, in Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. But our data shows that Nashville has the highest rate of lung cancer of these three cities. Now, why is that? Uh, no. Now, the, the evidence that we have mm -hmm. so far is that there's a strong direct relationship between the amount of smoking and the rate of lung cancer. Mm -hmm. And therefore, if one, lung cancer is one of the things that we know how to prevent. Mm -hmm. okay. There are some forms of cancer which we can't do anything about because mm -hmm. we don't know the cause mm -hmm. and we don't know how to prevent it. Mm -hmm. But in the case of lung cancer, we know if we could cut the smoking down, mm -hmm. it will take some time. Mm -hmm. But if we can reduce the smoking, we can reduce the rate of lung cancer. And it is a matter of great concern to us in the African-American population. Mm -hmm. Now, we don't know all that there is to know about lung cancer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because as a matter of fact, blacks, even though a higher percentage of them smoke, they tend to be not as heavy smokers mm -hmm. as whites do. That is, if they smoke, they, they, smoke, they smoke less. Mm -hmm. But still, the rates of cancer are higher among blacks, and we need to pay attention to that. Mm -hmm. Doctor, before we yes. move on to, the, the, to from lung cancer, 